Welcome to how to use the Instant Atlas Single Map Flash Template. If you would like information on how to create this atlas that we are going through today, all you need to do is have a look at the How to Use Instant Atlas Publisher with Flash Templates video. If you would like information on our Single Map HTML Edition template, then please refer to the How to Use Instant Atlas Single Map HTML template video. The data we have uploaded here is purely fictitious, and you can see how easy it is to upload your own data by viewing our how to use the Instant Atlas Excel Data Manager video. So let's have a look through the single map flash template. The single map template combines a single map table, comparison table, time series chart, bar chart, and pie chart for data display. It is ideally suited to viewing time series data and comparing trends for different geographies. In the top left hand corner, we have the theme name, indicator, and date that we have currently selected. If I want to change the data that I'm looking at, I just need to click on data, the theme that I'm interested in, the indicator that I'm interested in, and also the date. You can see that it has updated all of my different chart components, and so now I can apply a filter. I click on the filter button and select the type of filter, in this case regions, and then select the filter area you would like to apply. You will then see that this filter has also applied to all of the chart components as well, and only the areas in that filter are displayed in the table and bar chart. If I right click, I can clear my filter selection. Now we will have a look at the legend. You can see each of the different breaks here. They highlight in the map, table, bar and time series chart as you hover over them. And if you select one of the classification groups, then it will select these areas in the different components. I can right click to clear that selection. I can also turn off and on my base layer here, as well as my contextual layer, Louisiana regions and the background mapping. If I click on the little pencil icon here, I can open the legend settings. From here, I can change the border color, the transparency of the base layer, I can change the palette, reverse the palette, and increase and decrease the number of classes for that legend. I can also change the type of classifier, and you can see these instantly update in your atlas. Now let's move on to the map. I can select areas by clicking on the map, and in the data tip I can see the area name and value associated to that specific data and area. If I hold down control, I can select multiple areas, and these also get highlighted in the other chart components. I can zoom in and out of the map and use this magnifying glass here to zoom to full extent. The data table displayed here shows all areas of my map and highlights those that have been selected. I have the names in the name column, the data that has been mapped in the indicator column, and I can sort both these columns ascending or descending if I wish. I've got the class that each area is shown in by the colored circle here. We have the notes icon here, which is specific to the area, and this can link to any web page, PDF, Word, or Excel document that you like. If you click on the magnifying glass here, then this will zoom to the selected area, like so. We can now look at the small table here. This is the comparison table, which contains all of the comparison areas and their values. These areas are not represented in the map, but can be shown in the bar chart and time series chart below. If we now look at the chart here on the bottom right hand side, this is a time series chart, which displays the values for my selected areas across all time periods. You can see the values on the y-axis and the time scale on the x-axis, and if you hover over a point, the tip will display the area and value for that time period. We have the bar chart on the bottom left hand side, which is sorted ascending by data value, and the colours correspond to which break they belong to. If I hover over, the tip displays the area and value, and if I select an area, it will also be selected in all the other components as well. On the left-hand side, we have the pie chart. If I hover over a segment, I can see the percentage of areas that lie within that class, and I can also select a segment, and this will be reflected in all the other components. If you click on the Help button in the top right-hand corner, then it will open our standard Help page. This page contains further information on each of the different components in the dynamic report. If you wish to print your report, then this is possible. If you right-click and select Print Preview, then you will have the option to print to full screen or singular components. If you wish to only print to a few components, then you can use the hidden menu in the top right-hand corner of each component to remove, drag and resize to produce the layout you want. You can then right-click and reset the layout if you wish. You can also export. If you right click and go to export, then you will have the option to save as JPEG or PNG, and also which components you would like to show. In the single map, as in most of our other templates, you can have up to 10 different base geographies, however you can only display one at a time. 
You can switch between the base geographies by using the geography button and selecting the geography you would like to display. You can see that the whole report updates to show the data for the new base geography. That is how simple it is to use the Instant Atlas single map flash template. If you want to find out how to create an Instant Atlas flash dynamic report, then please refer to the How to Use Instant Atlas Publisher with Flash Templates video. Mm -hmm.